Hey, what's up guys? Dinebot here, back in the Elite Dangerous 3.3 beta. Welcome back. And today I wanted to just kind of take a look at uh, some of those signal sources and different things that are popping up. You know, they're persistent now and want to just scan a system and look for a few. So I've just picked that one at random. I didn't even really look at it. And uh, let's go jump in and take a look. This is also some nice way for me to practice getting better with the uh, scanning, which I'm going to need because I plan on doing some exploring once this goes live in the main game. And it does appear that they have fixed some of the crash bugs that were happening. There was a slight, slight tiny, tiny little patch today. Right. Why am I... What? Okay, sure. Why is it telling me to enter supercruise when I'm already in supercruise? There we go. Yes, I don't need the tutorial. Thank you. Right, let's honk the system. And what do we have here? We have degraded emissions. Great emissions. All right. There are a bunch of these things, and there are also a lot of bodies in this uh, system as well. Ceremonial comms. That's an interesting one. Compromise nav beacon. Let's uh, head towards that. Where did I go? That USS over there. And let's have a quick little look at it now. Okay, convoy dispersal pattern detected, threat two. What is this one? Convoy dispersal patterns. It's probably going to be mostly that in the system. It's kind of interesting though that we have all these in here. Let's jump to another site, real qu another system, real quick that's not in Civil War, and maybe see if we can get something different. There we go. The ability to scan them from the star is actually really great, and I like the fact that they are persistent and not randomized. They're spawned when you jump into the system, not randomly generated as you fly around. And you know how long they're going to be there, which is handy. This is a small system. Six twenty-five. Left on that one. We actually should be able to map this whole system very easily. finicky, but I think we can get it here. High grade emissions detected. <coughs> Alright. And that's targeted simply by hitting B on my joystick. And we can just fly right to it. It's only 188 or 185 light seconds. Threat zero. Hmm. That's disappointing, but let's see what's in there. 
You know, this is on the info for it. We can see faction, state, and time remaining up there in the top right. Right there where you don't have to dig for it. Very handy. And hopefully there's something interesting here. It's threat zero, so probably not, but we can always hope. I'm not going to overshoot. I'm going to overshoot. Good job, Dime. Loop of shame time. I feel very ashamed. I've dishonored my entire family. Terrible. And we should be safe to drop here in just a second. Come on. What do we got? Ooh. What a shame I don't really have any drones on me. Manufactured proprietary composites. Okay, let's look at the contacts list here. And I really wish I had some drones. Some limpets, rather. That's quite nice, but I want to kind of move on and see what else we can find in this system. Possibly jump to one last system and take another look. There we go. Red Dwarf. Maybe we'll have something good around this one. This whole process is so much quicker than it used to be. I think you guys could see that. And that's one thing I'm most excited about is... Rather than having to waste time flying around looking for stuff, waiting for USS to spawn randomly. No, it's all there. We can go to it. We can determine if we want to take our time, or invest our time to go do it or not. And it just respects the player's time a lot more, and I really like the system that they've implemented to uh, actually interact with it. All right. Let's stop. Honk. Not a damn thing in this system. High grain emissions detected. Threat zero. I've noticed sometimes that my cursor or my highlight won't appear when I go to that uh, menu. It's kind of annoying. Probably should submit a bug report for that. Very disappointing. I kind of want a system with a decent amount of stuff in it so we can get a good signal source. Of course, I should probably stop jumping into non populated systems. So, we'll actually, when we come out of this one, jump to whatever the closest inhabited system we can find is, just to see. Oh, wow, well, wait, there's a lot of stuff on the radar here. Um, yeah, there is. Fifteen bodies. Hmm. You see, my cursor's gone, and now it's back. Never had that problem before, I wonder what's causing it. Anyways. And we're out of here.
All right, hopefully we got something good in the system. I would love for just a really interesting unidentified single source. Of course, if it's something with combat, we're screwed because we're in an ASP. Should have brought the anaconda for this. All right, let's see what we got. Well, there's some big gas giants here. Let's see how that looks on the radar. Back down this way, really. This is where things get a little complicated. There we go. Gas giant with water-based life. Very cool. And you can see that it now shows up as a little icon on the map there, indicating that it's actually a system. There are 58 contacts in this system. Convoy dispersal pattern. Encoded emissions detected. Only two minutes and 40 seconds left. We better get there. Oh, we're not making it. That's a long way away. Anyways, guys, I think you get the idea of how this is working. I really just wanted to fly around and explore this a little more and take you guys with me. I am a big fan of the way this system is working out so far, as I've said, and I'm looking forward to messing with it more. If you guys are enjoying it, let me know what you like or dislike in the comment section down below, those of you that are playing the beta. And uh, until next time, if you found the video useful or helpful, click like and subscribe. My name is Dinebot. I will see you guys next time.